All right, today I'm here just outside Monroe, Michigan, or downtown Monroe. Uh, we are here along the Norfolk Southern Detroit line, the southbound main, to tour some interesting crossings that we have here uh, that run down Kentucky Avenue, which you can see right here. Uh, the Norfolk Southern Detroit line literally just runs right down this street. Well, it doesn't street run, but it's right next to it. And this is the southbound main of the NS Detroit line. Um, the northbound main is just down there, and then further down is the CN Shore line subdivision. Uh, but our main focus today is these four crossings right here uh, that literally parallel Kentucky Avenue. As you can see, we got four of them. Oh, there we go. You can kind of see them all there. And we're going to go ahead and get started with First Street. All right, here's our first crossing. And already looking at this, uh, this is like a a bit of a neat, like kind of funky, but neat uh, setup they have here. So look what they have is they have the cantilever set up for Kentucky Avenue. And then they use the side of the cantilevers for all the other roads. So we're gonna go start with the cantilever signal. This has what I believed, it looks like a Siemens cantilever, but it might be a safe train because we have a safe train box right here. All right. And then here is Norfolk Southern's emergency information. The dot number for First Street is 511-676-U. All right. And then the lights are two pairs of Safetran 12 by 20 inch incandescent lights sitting on Safetran light brackets. There you go. And then over here, all the way on the cantilever are also two more pairs of 12 by 20 inch incandescent lights by Safetran. And they're sitting on their own individual light brackets up there because they're kind of spaced out a little more. All right. And then the bell on this signal looks like a Siemens e-bell. It's a low pitch bell. All right, here is the mass signal, which has lots of lights on it. That's literally almost all it has. It's just a ton of lights. We have a safe train base. And here is the emergency information once again. We also got a sticker right here. All right, and then we have a total of five pairs of Safetran 12 by 20 inch incandescent lights, all sitting on Safetran light brackets. And then the bell is a low pitched Siemens e-bell. And the way they placed the stop and run signal sign on here, it's kind of funky. For some reason, they put it all the way up there, which is kind of weird, but uh, like typically it's right like here between the lights and the dot tag, but um, they decided to put it all the way up there for some reason. But it kind of gives this crossing character, you know, because we got the, the cantilever over there, like 500 lights on this signal and the stop and red signal sign all the way up there. All right, well, that is First Street. Now let's go on and head down to Second Street. All right, here we are at Second Street, which is pretty similar to First Street. We have another uh, Safetran or uh, Siemens cantilever right here with a Safetran junction box. And then once again, here is Norfolk Southern's emergency number and the dot number for Second Street is 511680J which it also says right down here. And then the lights on the signal are two pairs of Safe Train 12 by 20 inch incandescent lights sitting on Safe Train light brackets. And once again, they have this little kind of a goofy configuration with where the lights are and the uh, cross block and stop and run signal sign, but you know, they gotta do what they gotta do to make this up to code and whatnot. All right, and the lights on the cantilever are also two pairs of Safe Train 12 by 20 inch incandescent lights sitting on their own individual light brackets since they're more spaced out up there. And the bell on this signal is a low pitch safe train type three electronic bell. It looks like a Siemens, but uh, as I'm walking up to it, I notice it has a bigger base. So that's a safe train type three. That's your cantilever signal. Let me walk across the street. There we go. And now for the uh, mass signal, this one doesn't have as many lights as First Street does, um, but it still has a lot. And this, line, this signal has a double-sided safe train base. There's your dot number once again. This signal has four pairs of safe train 12 by 20 inch incandescent lights sitting on safe train light brackets. Now this one's kind of opposite of First Street. Um, the main, uh, the main lights are like the lower pair and then the lights for Kentucky Avenue are up top, but here it's opposite. All right, and the bell in this signal is a low pitched Siemens type, or low pitched Siemens bell. All right, so this one is pretty similar to First Street. Uh, and now we're gonna go ahead and go down to Third Street. 
where we have a little bit of a different light setup on the cantilever. So we're gonna go ahead and go over there next. All right, Third Street. And already off the bat, this is probably the goofiest light setup that are at these four crossings. This kind of reminds me of Guidon Road because of how it's the lights are spaced out over there as well. Uh, but anyways, this is the cantilever signal. This is actually, I think it's a minor industries cantilever. And as you can see right here, we also have this other base. I'm wondering if maybe they're gonna replace this soon because this is an older signal because it got that older looking uh, cross block font up there as well. So this cantilever is a bit older. And then the dot number is right here for Third Street. It's 511681R. We also have two other stickers here with the same number. And then the lights, two pairs of safe terrain 12 by 20 inch incandescent lights sitting on a safe terrain light bracket with those extender arms on there to extend the lights out to clear the cantilever. Here's your back side of it. We also have an old uh, Conrail dot tag right here. Pretty cool. All right. And then the lights up on the cantilever are also two pairs of safe terrain 12 by 20 inch incandescent lights. Those are sitting on one uh, light bracket, I believe. And then the bell on this signal is a General Signals Type 3 electronic bell. I have heard all these crossings in action before. Um, and it was mainly all of Siemens, Safetran, plus I think this is the only Type 3. Fourth Street, yeah, four, I can tell Fourth Street has one as well. So two Type 3 e bells. All right, so that's your cantilever signal. All right, here's the Third Street mass signal. This signal has a double-sided safe train base. Norfolk Southern's emergency, num emergency number. And this signal has four pairs of safe train 12 by 20 inch incandescent lights sitting on safe train light brackets. And the bell is a low pitch Siemens, uh, low pitch Siemens e-bell. I keep wanting to say a Siemens type three, I don't know why, but it's a low pitch Siemens e-bell. All right, that's third street. We have one more to fourth street right down there. All right, and finally, 4th Street. We're running out of daylight here, so we gotta make this quick. Here's your cantilever signal. It's uh, also a safe train or a Siemens. I think these are Siemens, but I could be wrong. It does have a safe train box though, or junction box. And the dot number for 4th Street is 511682X. And then we go back to this other configuration like 1st and 2nd Street have. Man. <laughs> Uh, two pairs of safe trans by 20 inch incandescent lights on safe trans light brackets. Just gonna wait for those cars to go by. Let's draw uh, buses and trucks. And then the bell on the signal is a, another general signals type three electronic bell. And then the lights over down over there on the cantilever. Two pairs of safe trans by 20 inch incandescent lights on own their own safe trans light brackets. All right, one more signal, mass signal. All right, our last signal of this video is 4th Street's mass signal, which has a double-sided safe train base. Norfolk Southern sticker, Norfolk Southern dot tag. Then we have four pairs of safe train 12 by 20 inch incandescent lights sitting on safe train light brackets. And then the bell on the signal is a low pitch Siemens electronic bell. All right, and now that we're done with all the signals, let's go and get you a look down the track. Again, this is the Norfolk Southern Detroit line, and this is main one, so the southbound main. That's looking uh, north towards all the other crossings, and eventually you'll find yourself into Frenchtown uh, Township. And then this is looking south. Uh, can't remember what the next crossing is down, uh, but this line runs by itself for quite a while until about Erie, or then it meets up with the other two tracks, the uh, northbound main and the shoreline subdivision. So yeah, this is a pretty cool spot. So uh, it's a rail fan in Monroe. I feel like my note is a little underrated when it comes to rail fanning because don't forget, we also have the CSX Toledo terminal sub or not sub, just Toledo terminal. Uh, just like a, not even that far from here is the CSX line. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.